Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I am your host Geekman and today we are going to learn how to use keyboard shortcuts and the transform tool in order to create an array or a spirograph for use in your finished designs. A couple of assumptions that I'm making right off the bat. Number one, I am using Photoshop CC 2017. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, some of the effects may not work as expected. Second, I am using Windows. So when I say hit the control key on a keyboard, if you're using a Mac, that means hit the command key. And if I say hit the alt key on the keyboard, that means hit the option key. So with that out of the way, let's get started by hitting control N on the keyboard to bring up the new image dialog box. Now we're gonna name this Spirograph, but you can name it whatever you want. Uh, Width is going to be 3840 pixels, height is 2160, resolution 150 pixels per inch, RGB color 8-bit, my background is going to be pure white, so just click on the square and make it pure white. Advanced options is Adobe RGB 1998 and square pixels. Hit create, and we now have an image to work with. Now, the objective here is you can use any uh, design or any object that you want in order to create these spirographs or arrays. I am going to use a very simple uh, object, which is a square, just to give you an idea of what you can do with simple objects versus very complex ones. Uh, and a simple object can, can look very complex just by virtue of repeating it, which is what an array or a spirograph is. It's a repetition of a object. So let's go to our rectangle tool on our toolbar, or you can hit U on the keyboard to bring up the rectangle tool. And let's make sure that it's on shape. Let's make the fill blank, empty, a stroke of black and three pixels. Then what we're going to do is draw a very large square in the middle of our document like so. Once we have our square, we're going to go back to our move tool. So click on the move tool or hit V on the keyboard to bring up the move tool. And let's move it to the center to make our lives easier so that we can see what we're doing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use a keyboard shortcut to bring up the transform tool. We're going to use control, alt, and T. Now control, alt, T is different from control, T. Control, T will bring up the transform tool and transform the original object. Control, alt, T will make a copy of that object and then apply the transformation to that copy. So uh, over here in the height and width, let us click in the height and width on the little link icon to make them equal. And let's change the width to 90%, which will also change the height to 90%. And as you can see, our original square is still here, but there is now a copy on our layers uh, palette which is what the transformation is being applied to. So once you have that done, hit the check mark, and you now have a copy of your original square that is 90% the size of the original. And now we can use another keyboard shortcut in order to repeat that transformation and continually cr create new layers with the new transformation applied. So you hit Control, Alt, and then Shift, and the letter T, and you have a new copy of that square that is now 90% smaller than the copy was. And as long as you hold down Control, Alt, and Shift and hit T repeatedly, you will create as many copies of that image as you want. So I'm going to make about 45-ish copies. Oh, let's see here. There we go. That's about 43 copies. And as you can see, I now have a very nice looking design. It's not a spirograph, it is an array. There are many copies of the same uh, object that go on to infinity, it looks like, although there's only 43 copies. So let's take this and let's use this uh, same effect, but with a slight twist to it. Let's uh, select our first layer here, copy number 43 in my case, scroll all the way down, holding down shift and click on the original rectangle, and then hit control G on the keyboard to group them all together. And then we will double click and we will name this rectangle. Okay, then we can turn that off, we no longer need to see it. Let's click back on our background layer so that we can create a brand new design. And let's go back to our rectangle tool by hitting U on the keyboard. And then we can draw by holding down shift and clicking and dragging another giant size square. Once you have that, let's go back to our move tool by clicking on the move tool or hitting V on the keyboard. And then let's just move this back to the center. There we go. Now, holding down uh, Control, Alt, and T again, 
we, will, we already know that we can make it slightly smaller or larger and that it will make a copy of our original object and then apply the transformation to the copy. But you're not relegated to only using the width and height, only making it bigger and smaller. You can also rotate the object. So let's go here and click on um, the link icon. Let's make this 90% again. Uh, so our width and height are now 90% and we've made a copy and it's 90% the size of the original. But over here on the angle, let's change our angle to 10%. And as you can see, it is now rotated also. You can hit the check mark up here or hit enter twice on the keyboard and you now have a copy of your original square that is 90% the size of the original and is 10 degrees uh, at, at an angle of 10 degrees. You can then hit control, alt, shift and T again and you will continually make the same transformation on brand new layers all the time. And as you can see, this makes a very nice spiral, spirograph type design. And again, I've made 42 copies here and we have a, ver a pretty nice looking design. So let's click on the original top copy here and go all the way down to our rectangle tool. Let's control G to make a group of that and let's call that spiral. Okay, so now we've got two different designs using the exact same keyboard shortcuts of the transform tool. But we want to make something that looks a little bit more like an array. So we want to make uh, something maybe that not only uh, repeats itself like this, not only repeats itself and uh, makes itself smaller like this does, but we want to change the rotational point. We don't want it to go around just the center. We want it to go around a point of our choosing. So let's try that by creating a brand new square. Let's go back to our background layer, turning off both of the, uh, the uh, objects that we've already made. And let's create another square by clicking on our square, our rectangle icon and then holding down shift, clicking and dragging down to make a square. Let's make it a little smaller this time. Something like this looks good. Uh, and we will then uh, go back to our move tool and we will move this about here-ish. Uh, and then what we will do is hit Control, Alt, and T. Now we can go up here to uh, link our width and our height, and we can make this 90% like that to make it the same width and height. We will make it rotate by 10 degrees. But you know what? I don't want it to be right there. I want its rotation to be down here, right? That's where I want it. So let's escape. Let's do this again. Control, Alt, T. And let's move our center point, which is where our object will rotate around. Let's move it down to this corner, like that. And now let's link it together. Now let's make it 90%. Now let's make our angle 10 degrees. And you can see it is rotating around this point, the far bottom right corner of our square, not the center. Then we can hit OK, and we can hit Control, Alt, Shift, and T again, and this is the design, kind of a Nautilus shell look that we've got going on now. And that is the power of using the keyboard shortcuts with the transform tool to create an array or a spirograph design. Now you're not, you don't have to only use squares. You don't only have to use squares or, or, or a, a circle or any kind of common design. You can use anything that you want. So let's take all of these. Uh, I'm just going to throw them away, but you can save them if you want. But let's say that we wanted to use something different. Let's go to our custom shape tool and let's use a heart. Okay, the heart you can find just about anywhere. So let's just use a heart. Let's draw out a heart just like that. Okay, we've drawn out the heart. We're going to move it over right to about here-ish. Let's just move it right there. That's fine. And now what we're going to do is control, alt, and T. And all we're going to do is we're going to rotate this by 10 degrees like that. Okay? Then what we can do is hit the check mark and we can hit Control, Alt, Shift, and T. And since we did it by 10 degrees, we need to have 36 copies total. So you want to make sure that you get all the way up to 35 copies here in your uh, layers palette. See, copy number 35, and we now have a complete circle of the heart. And this is a nice spirograph design that we have just created in less than 15 seconds using just a heart.
That is the power of this tool and this keyboard shortcut. So let's scroll all the way down. Let's go down to shape number one. Let us turn this into a group and we will call this heart. But you're saying, what if I wanted that heart to rotate around the point at the bottom of it? Well, you just go back to your tool, uh, your, um, your shape tool, and you draw out your heart like so. And then we go back to our move tool because we want to move it over so everybody can see it better. Uh, and then what you do is control alt T and you take your center point where you want it to rotate and let's move that to about here. You can move it anywhere you want. I kind of want to have a center uh, area that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to move it right around there. Then I am going to just change the rotation to 10 degrees yet again. I'm going to hit check mark, control alt shift and many T's later. 35 T's later, in fact, 35. And you now have another spirograph design. And again, this works with anything. To prove my point, let us uh, select all of these. Uh, I will turn them into a group here. I'll just hide that for now. And let's, uh, let's draw using the pen tool. So hit P on the keyboard. Make sure your fill is off, your stroke is black, your stroke size is about three. I've got my pen tool. And I'm just going to draw something a little wiggly like this. Uh, this looks good just like that. There, I have drawn something. Let's go back to our move tool. Uh, now, when you've used the pen tool, you've got to deselect the path itself so that you aren't trying to just transform the path. So click on any other uh, layer and then click back on the shape and you're fine, good to go. Let's put this over here and this time what I'm going to do is I am going to make this rotate, change size and I'm going to change where the rotation point is. I'm going to make the rotation point down here and I'm going to rotate it and change its size at the same time. So let's hit Control, Alt, and T. Uh, let us change its uh, rotational point to this bottom point right there. Let us go here to our linking, and let's change its, uh, its size to uh, 90%. And let's change the angle here to, uh, let's make it 15 degrees, like so. Hit the check mark, we're good to go. Control, Alt, Shift, and T. And you just keep doing this over and over and over and over and you're going to get that kind of Nautilus shell look design. And there you go. It's a simple and effective tool for creating very quick spirographs or arrays. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. I do new tutorials every Tuesday. This is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.